Hi, my name is Scott Capos, and today I'm going to teach you how to throw the hammer. We're going to go through a series of drills using a golf club, and we're going to progress to using the real hammer. We're going to use a circle here. The circle and the hammer is seven feet around. The back of the circle we count as zero degrees. Then we have 90 degrees, 180 degrees, and 270 degrees. So when we teach you how to throw the hammer, we use these different degree points as a mark to where you and the hammer should be lined up in different positions. So we're going to start off, the hammerhead is going to be at zero, and when they turn to 90 degrees, they're going to turn on their left heel and right toe. Then back to zero. We keep the knees bent, head straight, and we repeat that a couple times. Good. That's the first movement we use to teach an athlete how to turn with the hammer. Next, we're going to start at zero, turn to 90, pause, then turn to 180. So the athlete starts at zero, hammerhead straight ahead, athlete turns to 90, pauses, and then turns to 180. Both feet in the same direction, the center of the hammerhead is facing the middle of the throw. Then we come back to zero, turn to 90, turn to 180, pause. So that's the second step in teaching beginners how to throw the hammer. Now we're going to teach an athlete to turn all the way to 180 degrees without stopping. Get in a good athletic start position, arm straight, and they're going to turn all the way to 180, heel of the left foot, toe of the right foot, and then they drop down on the left toe, slightly on the side of the foot. And go back to zero, watch the action of the left foot. Good, back to zero, left foot, good. The next step in our progression is the hammer is going to go all the way to 180 again, but this time the athlete's going to step forward straight down the line, so they're lining up down the center of the sector when they finish the throw. So we turn to 180, and then step forward. About six inches or so between the feet, the athlete's going to try to plant flat on the right foot. So again, arms long, turn to 180, nice flat step, straight ahead. Good. Let's do that a couple times, see what it looks like. Good. If you watch the left foot action, the left foot goes from heel, side, toe, and then we plant straight ahead. Good job. Now we're going to go to 180, and then we're going to step to 270. So we start with the athlete in a long, straight position. They're going to turn to 180, and then step to 270. Flat-footed, then turn out to zero, and we go 180, turn to 270, go to zero. Good. So you can do that with many turns as you need to. We'll do two turns, four turns, up to 10 turns. And as the athlete gets better, they can move through those positions and keep consistency in the, in the rhythm of the turns. They can just do each turn slow. And as they get better, they can start slow and they move their way to faster turns. Now we're going to do a series of turning drills. We're going to start with the hammer on the ground, and the athlete's going to execute five turns in a row with the hammer on the ground. It teaches the athletes how to move with the ball properly. Then we're going to move to two turns on the ground and two hammer turns with the ball in the air. Again, teaching the athlete how to move as one unit with the hammer. 